Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. The action has already started. Now it's Luke de Jong. He spotted the run and played him through. Lucas Ocampos! Good save. Keeper read that well. There's no doubt he made the right decision, but without the right result. And that is as far as they're going to go. And that's a foul. Free kick's been given. the end of that it all started well enough now it's Ocampos done very well to intervene and it's Son Kyung Min a mixture of good defending and indecisive passing no progress and a shot Fine stop from the keeper. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Fernando drives it forward. Malika. And here's Molito. Gets away from his opponents. Has a hit! about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well good. Sevilla take the lead, 1-0. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Ah, oh, he'd have done well to reach that. <laughs> Lucas Ocampos. Kolasinac battles to win it back. Barcelona are still behind as we reach out for half-time. Fernando. Son Heung-min. Thiago. Fernando. There is the half-time whistle. So there you have it, a close-fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. And we are already promptly back on the way. Barcelona need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that.
Fernando. Vanega. And it's Luke de Jong. It's a loose ball. And here's Lucas Ocampos. It's Lucas Ocampos! Back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Sevilla have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Alito needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, the idea was right, the delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Fernando. He's got options out wide. It's a brilliant interception. Hoists it forward. And here's Bernay. He hits it. Oh, that's a waste. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Decent looking ball. De Gea can pick that up. Fernando. And there's a long ball. A beautifully policed that midfield. The opposition have been handcuffed. No, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Lolito. That's surely a foul free kick. Out to the right. And it's Fernando. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Vatslik gets it upfield. We can get that clear. Now it's Nolito, he came in hard, very hard. Away from immediate danger. And that's it. Barcelona, Aston Kafka, in the end, no joy. That's the game, and the result is what matters. This result.